I'm in LA at the uh, California Hotel. And Bruce, who is Donna Summer's husband, comes over. He said, Pete, how are you? Can I bring Donna over to meet you? Straight away, she said, could you write me a song? And I said, yeah, of course we can, you know. Well, Donna Summer was just genius. Georgia Moroda was the sound for me for Donna Summer. I couldn't see how Stock Aitken and Waterman, what they would do with her sound. I grew up with... Uh... The Maroda stuff. Actually, that stuff was really influential on our, our early high energy stuff, you know, her, her 70s stuff. We thought it was incredible that Donna was entertaining working with Stock Aiken and Mormon, and that was no disrespect to them, but, you know, it's a very kind of European English uh, sound. Donna came from America. What can we do with Donna? Yeah, we've got a few other songs ready to go, but I'm looking for something now that you can make a statement with. I go to bed thinking about it. I've got this idea in my head. I wake up, I go in the bath... And I'm getting, this time I know it's for real. I drive in the car to the studio. By that time, I've sort of worked it out. It was a general hum went around the building in an atmosphere, you know, oh, Donna Summer's coming in today. And the whole building stops. So here's a singer that whatever you write can perform it better than you even dream about. Donna comes in. I always have to sing the tune to the singer, to the artist, because it's the first time they've ever heard it, and she sings it back to me. And she sings it back with embellishment. Part of the deal with Donna was that we were going to write with her. You know, this time I know it's for real, it's an Americanism, we would never have used it. Shout it out with a megaphone or a neon sign that those were her bits. just absolutely leathered everything we gave her. She was absolutely fantastic. What a voice. It's just a killer track. The fact that she'd worked with Stock Aiken and Mortman for us, it was like, wow. And by this time, we had the confidence not to put too much on tape. So th there's an economy on that track. There's nothing that's, uh, th you know, there's no going on. Donna Summer is different from any other act we ever did. So we would do a single, uh, it would be a hit, we'd do a follow-up single, and then if that was a hit, we'd do an album. She was with Geffen Records in, in America, they didn't understand that concept at all. It wasn't an option for them. So we had to do this album. She had some real strong beliefs about not singing songs in the negative. I remember sitting her down and, because it, it did get difficult and I had to explain that Shakespeare wrote about death but he didn't actually die to do it. A few changes to a couple of things, but she was absolutely delighted. She just went, this is exactly what I want. Do you get that with the best singers? I got it with Cliff, I got it with Paul McCartney. It was a great experience.